Schechter coming back to you again. We're going to be talking about the Schechter J Plus bass today. This is the five string version. And we're going to get right off into the controls. They can zoom up on this controls while I'm talking about them. Let's get the rolling here from left to right. The first one is a master volume knob, which is also a phase switch that you push in and out. When it's down, it's in the uh, in phase position, which means the bridge pickup and the neck pickup are just just normal settings. This is I forgot to mention it's it's, it's a phase switch for the bridge pickup. Okay, so this normal settings when you pull it up, it's out of phase, and uh, let me get, let you hear two different sounds in phase. In phase, just normal setting. Now, if I pull it up, you get more of a nasally type sound with a lot more uh, mid range in it. Uh, so it'd be like, uh, here you go. Wow, big difference. And what makes the electronics with the um, Seymour Duncan uh, EQ so cool is that. Normally, it would be kind of hard for a lot of basses to trick out these different uh, mid-range settings, but they make it kind of simple on here. Once you learn a few little things, it's, it's not really that hard. Uh, and so you can add bottom to that mid-range, you know what I mean? With these, with this EQ they put in here, they, they, they hooked it up. They, it's a match made in heaven. So let's go to right along to the second knob, which is the... Um, four-way selector switch in the in the first position from left to right that's the neck position the neck pickup second position is in parallel The third one is series, which is my really my favorite setting. You get 30 more percent output when it's hooked up in this on this on this uh this third position here with the pickups, the neck and the the bridge pickups. That's my my favorite one. Then you have the last, the four position, which is the bridge pickup, and that's when you do you're doing your solo and stuff, you know. And then that's just the settings of, without me tweaking the bass or the treble out of the the uh, Seymour Duncan EQ. So you, it's just endless possibilities. You, you, it's like I don't know. You can get about twelve different sounds out of this bass, at least. Now let's move on to the. Uh, oh, then I forgot. We can mention uh, active EQ. Is your next one is your the third one is your bass. And, and with the center uh, detent click, and you have the treble. Two band. And it's, and it's a lot with the uh, the mid range coming out of the four way selector and the phase shifting that's going on with the volume knob and the phase, uh, uh, phase uh, switch. Okay, said enough about that. Loaded, fully loaded. We have Seymour Duncan quarter pound pickups. You might want to zoom in on that. 
uh, so you can get a better look at those quarter pounders. People have seen them before. These have quarter pound poles in them and uh, extra windings. So you can just get that real, that bass. Just, just clarity, just cutting through. Uh, then you know, also it's good for that with that when you hit on that uh, on the uh, B string, you know. up here I guess if you can catch one of uh, the uh, binding that's around the neck so beautiful man uh, the black binding that's around the neck and then they also come in uh, cover uh, the white ivory which has a turquoise pick up guard when you see me uh, pick guard excuse me when you see me uh, doing another video I'll be having the four string which is the, the white one it's ivory they call it and uh, with the turquoise pick guard it's gonna be a four string. Okay, and this has a uh, the, uh, the the square block inlays, position markers, maple fretboard, jumbo frets, swamp ash wood body, which is the cool thing. Uh, I like Larry Graham and Marcus Miller uh, turned me on to this combination with the uh, maple neck you get that that real snappy sustain it's just just the, the thing is that Just uh, just the note to sing out this bad boy. Uh, this is one of my favorites here. I, I, I play this on my uh, my gospel stuff, man. Uh, just jamming it every week. If I'm there, I'm playing this bass here. Um, and uh, let me move along. If I can flip it up and get a close up of the back here. Uh, if you guys can see that, um, and a lot of companies are starting to do this, which I think they should. When you when you're using bolt-ons, man, you know we have to progress. And uh, this is a nice progression with the the contours, uh, the way they contour the wood now to uh, fit your body better, and also uh, to make the bass lighter and sound better. You know. Uh, I like these uh, the way they position these six uh, bolts on the back instead of four. That four just not doing it for me anymore. And if you see the holes back here, that's you can, that's an option. So with most Schecter bases, you can go you can load from the string top loaded or you can go string through. I prefer string through, so I can get some of that woody tone from the body, like that like a like a neck through. Battery compartment there. This is 18 volt, there's two 9 volts up in there. Uh, maple neck. Uh, it just more, it's more detailed. You can see there, if you look at the zoom in on the neck, you can see there's a shellac, even on the fretboard. Real beautiful. tuners um, they even changed the um, 
check your logo a little bit. Got your nice, has a nice little uh, back shadowy kind of. I don't know what they call that, but uh, it's, it's stitched very. It's 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 printed very nicely. It's different. It stands out a bit more. But the, it's a solid base, man. Uh, remarkable, 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 remarkable. You get two different tones out of the. Uh, I would say the the swamp bass. Of course, if you know about your woods, the swamp bass is always gonna give you a brighter tone than the uh, alder would would give you with the uh, um, rosewood fretboard. But um, I think I said enough about this bass. Go try one out if you can't find one. Check with Schechter at www.schechterguitars.com. And they have contact numbers there. Or you can email me, Robert Harper at newjazzfunk.net. Or you can even contact me through my website at www.robertharperbass.com. Okay, see you later.